Hi, welcome to another video. So today I've received my snap pick board all the way from Czech Republic. Lovely country, you need to uh, visit it sometime if you can. These boards are available in 16 and 32 bit. This particular IT is the PIC32 MX795 with a 512 kilobytes of program memory space. Most of the 100 pins brought out to these sockets around the outside and they include some headers should you wish to solder them on. There's eight LEDs this top left hand corner so I've wired those up. The resistor is already on the back. So I've wired up eight LEDs as a demonstration. These five wires inside here are for your regular programmer whether it's Picket 2, Picket 3 or in my case I've got the Microprog programmer from Microelectronica. These are about 99 US dollars, just under 50 pound. These will program all your picks from PIC 10, 12, 16, 18, DS PIC 33, PIC 24s and the PIC 32. All for $99. So if you're new to programming and you want to know what development board to get, you could start at the top, get the PIC 32. These boards are £22.42, free shipping from Czech Republic. They come pre-programmed with microchips bootloader but for the life of me I cannot find the single file which will give me the bootloader software for the PC. So what I've done, got this, simply erased it and used Microelectronica's bootloader. If you're not familiar with bootloaders in MicroC Pro for PIC32 I'll give you a quick demonstration. So what I've done, put the five wires on there, plug in Microelectronica's programmer programmed it with a bootloader and that's it. I don't need this program anymore. All done with this micro USB down here. So you can either power it off the USB 5 volts, it's got a 3.3 volt regulator, or power it off this socket here. Probably 12 volt, 15 volt input, maybe less, read the manual. It's got a reset switch here and to get into their pre-programmed bootloader this switch up here, you press that one, but I couldn't get it to work. So micro SD card holder, power supply, 8 LEDs and the chip. And the beauty with this, it's got the crystals already soldered to the back, 8 mags and the 32 kilohertz for the clock. So it's nothing to add. For those of you who see my other videos, I use the EasyPick Fusion version 7 with the 32-bit microcontroller there and you can see it's hardwired to this TFT. I'm going to get rid of all this wiring, hardwire it to this snap bit and that will free up my Fusion version 7 development board. So before I turn it on and give you a quick demo, I'll show you a couple of bits on the screen. So that's the board direct from the seller, H Brood CZ. Very helpful seller if you write to him and ask him questions if you're not sure. So that's the board I purchased, £22, 42 pence free shipping. As I say, they're in the Czech Republic, Prague, and I've actually been to Prague 10 years ago. There I am. If you're familiar with Prague, you recognise that bridge and the building behind. Other options so that you can get the smaller 60 pin or 64 pin, is it? The 460. Uh, then the DS PIC 33, PIC 24 and they tell me they're bringing out the PIC 32 MZ in the next month or so. So this 100 pin TQFP, it's a thin quad flatback USB on the go program is it's pre-programmed with the microchips bootloader but for the life of me I couldn't get the one single program to get into the bootloader so as I say I've erased it used microelectronics but looking at some of the bootloader software, if I bring up this other page, this guy makes a popular bootloader, DS30. Now it's all free for all these devices up until the PIC32, and this PIC32 is not free anymore. So I thought, well, I'll buy it if you know, give him a few bucks. If I scroll down to the bottom, now unless I'm mistaken, look at the pricing at the bottom. That's 150 dollars, or so 150 euros, 250, 400 euros. What for a bootloader? That's ridiculous, unless I'm making some big mistake. But for 400 euros, you could purchase 
microelectronicas can buy that for a lot less, 299 US dollars. So that's roughly 200 English pound. So purchase the Micro C Pro for PIC32 compiler and a $99 programmer, about 50 UK pound, and that's it, you're ready to go. If you're new to Microelectronica and you haven't seen my recent bootloader video, go to Open Examples, Other, USB HRD bootloader at the bottom, Projects, PIC32, USB HRD bootloader, so human interface device. So this is the main C file. So a bit about the bootloader there. And that's the crux of the program there. So if I open these other files, if you're not familiar, go to the right. There's all these other files. So config C. I think is that one I want. If you open the config C file and scroll down, that's where you give your project the device name. So I put John's PIC32. And all I did was simply load that demo file, program it with this programmer. Fantastic. So £50 for this one. The advantage with this over microchips PIC kit is all the configuration bits uh, on screen so we come up to here there's all the configuration bits so if you just run the normal programmer you get all these configuration bits you haven't got the just the plain numbers and hex codes on uh, as you have with the pick kit programmer so if you if you haven't got a programmer as yet i recommend microelectronica's programmer well so i've already programmed microelectronica's bootloader to that snad pick device the development board so if I open Microelectronica's bootloader which is supplied free of charge if I press the reset on the device there you go John's pick 32 pick 32 quickly hit connect within five seconds and I think I missed it talking hit reset press connect I'm connected Browse for hex. Right, if I do a simple example to flash out eight LEDs, SNAD pick board LEDs. So that's the hex file. Begin upload and it finished in a few microseconds. Finished. And you can see there we've got eight LEDs running. So if I hit this reset again, so it gives it five seconds to see if there's communication between this and the PC. No communication, it runs the program. And that's it, so just a simple program, flashing these LEDs. So if I plug these Neo pixels on, I've just set up a couple of demos. So if I just hit reset again, Connect on the bootloader, look for my new hex file, upload, it's a slightly bigger file, so it took a quarter of a second instead of a fraction of a second. Give it five seconds to boot up. And we're there. So I've slightly improved this program on one I released a few months ago when I first got this ring. And being a PIC32, it's obviously fast enough to run this. If I take out this delay, you'll see how quickly this PIC32 controls this lot. So I can still amend the program build it in Micro C Pro for PIC32 and just import the newer hex file which I'll do now. Well so I've got a hundred millisecond delay between each sequence 
So I'm going to reduce that to 25 milliseconds. I'll build the program. If I had this program connected, I could obviously build and program. But I've unplugged it from these five wires and running on a bootloader. So now let me import this new revised hex file. So press the reset, connect on the bootloader, browse for the hex, begin upload, done. So there's still 25 millisecond delay, but if it's too quick, you can't see what's going on. It's a simple demonstration, so if you haven't bought any software yet, any compilers, programmers, seriously look at Microelectronica's Micro C Pro for PIC32. As I say, it comes with a bootloader software, loads of example software for simple LEDs, UART, CAN, everything. Uh, the simple program I've put together for this ring of LEDs. Uh, and if you're looking for development boards, maybe you can't afford just yet this, you know, one of Microelectronica's development boards. Maybe, maybe you just want something smaller. If you want something smaller, have a look at this Snadpick on eBay. So, simple, cheap development board. Simple to use and cheap programmer for Microelectronica and obviously they've got a variety of software, Micro C Pro for PIC, Micro C Pro for DSP, does the 24s as well, and PIC32. Give Microelectronica a look and certainly give these people Snadpick a look on eBay. Fantastic service. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.